Hello, welcome to Diaper Diaries, original short stories by Mommy Lisa. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications of new uploads. Visit links in the description below to my erotic ebooks on Amazon, eBay goodies, Twitter, and buy me a coffee. Donations are greatly appreciated. I work hard on stories for you and I hope you really enjoy them. Now sit back, relax, get your blanket and bottle, and enjoy episode 10, Dominating Diaper Blooms. Once upon a time in a quaint little town, there lived a woman named Isabella. She was known for her commanding presence and her unwavering desire to find a man who would both love and succumb to her dominant nature. Isabella had long flowing dark hair and piercing topaz eyes that seemed to hold a hint of mystery. But what truly captivated people's attention was the bouquet of vibrant red roses she always carried with her, a symbol of her insatiable desire for power and control. Isabella had earned her reputation as a force to be reckoned with. Her confidence and assertiveness left most men intimidated and only a select few were brave enough to entertain the idea of being with her. They were enticed by the allure of a woman who knew her own mind, who could command attention with a mere glance. But little did they know, Isabella's search for a partner went far beyond the superficial realm of power dynamics. She wanted a man that would join her in diaper wearing, especially when she told him to wear them and when to take them off. She longed for a connection that went beyond control. Deep within her dominant nature, Isabella yearned for love, a love that could match her fiery spirit, a love that would willingly submit to her, not out of fear, but out of profound understanding and unwavering trust. She desired a man who could stand tall by her side, cherishing her strength while embracing his own vulnerability. One day, as Isabella strolled through the local park, her bouquet of red roses held firmly in her grasp. She noticed a man sitting alone on a bench. He had a gentle face and an air of quiet contemplation about him. Something in his eyes told her there was more to him than met the eye. Intrigued, Isabella approached him, her steps purposeful, her presence commanding attention. The man looked up, meeting her gaze with a mixture of curiosity and apprehension. She noticed a flicker of uncertainty in his eyes a vulnerability she recognized all too well. "'May I join you?' Isabella asked, her voice laced with confidence. The man hesitated for a moment, then gestured for her to take a seat. As they began to talk, Isabella sensed a deep connection forming. They shared stories, dreams, and desires, bearing their souls to one another. With time, Isabella revealed her dominant nature, her need to control and power. To her surprise, the man did not shy away. Instead, he listened, his eyes filled with understanding and compassion. I have always thought someone who could match my strength, someone who could willingly submit to me, Isabella confessed. The man smiled gently, reaching out to touch her hand. I believe in a love that encompasses trust and surrender, where dominance and submission are not just roles, but reflections of our truest selves, he replied. In that moment, Isabella realized she had found the man she had been searching for, a partner who cherished her dominant spirit, who understood the complexities of her desires. I am glad you feel that way. I have many sensualities I would love to introduce you to. With that, they left the park and headed to Isabella's, and so together they embarked on a journey of love, trust, and exploration. Isabella instructed the handsome man to go upstairs and undress. He did. She walked in the room in her skin-tight black leather thigh-high boots and a leather whip. She also had a diaper in her hand. He looked at it confusingly. She instructed him to lift his buttocks up in the air. When he did, she slipped the diaper under him and pulled it up very tight between his legs and fastened the tabs as snug as she could get them. Although a little painful, Isabella's new bow did not show it. He gritted his teeth and embraced for what might be next. Inside, he felt himself becoming quite aroused at the anticipation of what was next. Isabella cracked her whip and instructed him to pee in the diaper. He wasn't sure if he could oblige her demand, but her forcefulness seemed to urge him to comply. It took Isabella cracking the whip several more times and yelling at him before he finally peed in the diaper. 
He was surprised at how much he enjoyed the sensation and the submissiveness. This was something he was looking forward to getting used to. Isabella took the diaper off of him and sprinkled red rose petals all over him and on his lower body as if it were some sort of baby powder. There, now you smell better, she asserted as she leaned over and kissed his stomach, twirling her tongue in and around his belly button. Needless to say, they had a most arousing affair that night and both looked forward to continuing the passion. The handsome man learned a few new things, including that he liked being diapered. And so Isabella's red rose gardens continued to bloom, symbolizing the passionate love she shared with a man who both loved and willingly submitted to her. Theirs was a relationship built on a foundation of mutual respect and understanding where dominance and love intertwined harmoniously. Isabella had finally found the man who would stand by her side, lay by her side, submit to diapering, cherishing her strength while embracing his own vulnerability. She, in turn, would nurture their love with the tenderness of her red rose petals and the sternness of her dominance forevermore. The End I hope you enjoyed this episode of Diaper Diaries. Please remember to like, subscribe, and click the bell, and also visit the links below to find more content from Mommy Lisa. Good night, my babies!